Hey guys, I'm Shayan from Scar Studio. So today I'm going to show you guys how I created this animation loop in Blender. You can also check out some of my other animation loops in the channel. And I also try to post a daily render on my Instagram and I post behind the scenes videos on my Instagram story. So make sure you guys follow me on Insta as well. So with that said, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start by deleting our default scene and I'm going to add a plane. Scale it up with S and then 10 in the numpad. Tab into edit mode and right click, subdivide. In this black box, I'm going to make it 40. Number of cuts and and tap into edit mode again i'm gonna select some of these vertices in the corner like this while holding shift and then you can select orthographic view and i'm gonna select random from the drop down menu over here and g and the mouse wheel i can increase the size of our circle that affects the range how it influences the points so i'm gonna deselect that again and now i'm gonna select some of these with c and pull them down a bit and select some of these and pull them up a bit and deselect them pull them up all right that looks good now normally if you're creating a face or something you would usually right click and add shade smooth but for this i'm not going to i'm just going to leave it flat and tap back into edit mode select some of these verses and uh just try it like this or with o the keyboard you can also enable proportional editing like that and with the mouse wheel i'm going to make the circle a little bit smaller and pull some of these up create a new plane and with s10 again i'm going to scale it up and select the plane in the bottom the ones with one with all the spikes i'm going to pull it down while pressing shift so that it goes down only a little and uh, yeah it looks good for me right now and with shift D, I'm gonna duplicate this plane. And now I'm gonna add a wireframe modifier. And I'm gonna increase the thickness like this. Okay, that was too much. 0 0.8, that's too much too. Maybe increase it to about 0 0.08. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now I'm gonna apply it. Now I'm going to select the first plane and I'm going to add a boolean modifier and uh, put it on to union and select the second plane we created the plane uh, the second plane yeah now if you hide it you can see there are some cuts in between the vertices so now I'm going to apply the boolean modifier and delete the wireframe uh, modifier and tab into edit mode and select box select these unwanted vertices and I'm gonna delete a few of them so that it's a little cleaner I guess so I'm gonna press C and select some of these corners as well and delete these because they are underneath the plane that we have over here so yeah once I'm done with that I'm going to add a cube shift day cube tab into edit mode and G while pressing control I'm gonna drag it to this corner and one in the numpad go to the front view and G Z while pressing control to move it on top like that and here in the items I'm going to make dimension 20 meters tab in edit mode and with control R I'm gonna add a bunch of loop cuts like this so that's the nine loop cuts you can see over there in the black box and now with all left click I'm gonna select these and with E I'm gonna extrude them in make sure you have selected individual origins uh, for it to work and then I'm gonna scale it in and I'm gonna delete this top face delete the faces with X and select these two edges and make a face like that and now I'm gonna add a mirror modifier and uh, also, I'm going to add an area modifier. I'm going to 
make the x axis 0 and move it in the y. Uh, maybe something like that, 2.8 looks good. And make the y something like 2, yeah, that looks better, I guess. And now with Shift A, I'm gonna add my camera and I'm gonna adjust the rotation to 90, 0 in the y, 0 in the z. And move it back, so we will like minus 15 meters in y axis and lift it up in z about three meters this looks too i'm gonna decrease the focal length to about 12 millimeters now you guys can see this looks kind of weird but i'm gonna tap into edit mode and uh, rotate those with uh, those pillars like that move it down and uh, i might scale them down a bit like that y-axis with sy and yeah that looks good and with g control g i'm gonna move it somewhere close to the edge of our plane and increase the count to about nine and all right that looks good and tap back to edit mode and rotate it a little more and push it back like that now with shift d i'm gonna duplicate this and with b selection I'm gonna separate it to a different object and tap into the mode rotate it up and move it like that on top and move it in the y-axis a bit like that and uh, looks good let me place it somewhere in the bottom like that okay that looks good okay now I'm gonna select this bottom plane and tap into edit mode subdivide it and add something like uh, three cuts and select these four faces and with e i'm going to extrude them in and uh, move them down with g z all right now i'm going to shift select all these and add them into a new collection with m new collection and i'm going to just call it blocks hit ok now shift a collection instances we're gonna create a new instance and g y by pressing control to move it back like that looks good and uh, shift d duplicate the instance g y move it like that now select these two shift d button control move them like that now I'm gonna select uh, most of these and shift D get move like that All right that looks good and now let's see you the numpad to move to my camera view and now I'm going to fix a bay to find some galaxy nebula kind of pictures so, so some cool galaxies and stuff maybe you want some of those or I can just search Google for nebulas and add them to our scene maybe something like this looks good too and the shift day image as planes I'm gonna import the image and uh, right now it's inside our blocks collection I'm gonna put it out of the collection and scale it up like that with S and move it back somewhere I think this looks actually really better in cycles. I'm gonna delete the principal shader and add an emission shader and plug the emission color to the surface and there you go, lights, lights up the whole scene. And I'm gonna add a material, a metallic material, decreases our pressure to drop to about 0 0.1 and I'm gonna select the ground flow plane with the same material and press the 2 button over here to make it 
separate material and call it flow when I'm going to decrease the material roughness to zero in that one add the same material to the pillars I'm going to call it pillar press the number 2 button call it pillar and also I'm going to add a bevel modifier uh, to both the pillars on the bottom and the top ones and uh, add the same flow to material to that and uh, that looks cool so far we can make it better of course maybe I can make the pillar roughness to about 0 0.1 or 0 .0 0 0.0.05 okay that looks good so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bump node and plug it into the normal like that and add a more annoying texture and plug the color into the height change the F1 value to F2 and I'm going to make it chibi chub and if you have node wrangle add-on enabled with control T you can add a mapping node and a texture coordinate node that will plug the object into the, 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 the mapping and uh, increase the scale to about 1 that looks kind of cool for me and maybe decrease the bump strength to by about 0 0.5 yeah 0 0.5 looks good and uh, I'm gonna copy these nodes and add them to the flow plane uh, fl node as well and increase the scale increase the scale decrease the scale in this one to about 0 0.5 yeah that looks good all right all right I might increase the Roughness in the pillars to about 0.2 as well, uh, maybe 0.1. Yeah, that looks good. Now maybe we can move to animating. Now I'm gonna move to the animation tab, and I'm gonna make the end keyframe 120. Also go to the outliner and the blocks. Right click and select all the objects. That was I scale and add a keyframe there and now I'm gonna move to the 121st keyframe and I'm gonna move this with G Y while pressing control until this becomes minus 40 meters over here in the location and add a keyframe there with I and select location rotation scale and now just go through all the objects and see whether there are key yeah that looks good now I'm going to select all these objects again and select all of these just to make sure and go to the right click interface and we'll make it linear now if you play the animation you can see it's working at zero to the camera view but you can see there the frame doesn't seem to match so to make any animation loop all you have to do is make sure that the start keyframe and the end keyframes are the same so in this case the end keyframe looks just like the keyframe on the fourth frame so in that case we are going to start from the fourth keyframe so if your animation starts from the first as it should uh, you guys can just leave it like that or if it doesn't just make sure you match the end keyframe and the start keyframe together so that's it for this tutorial and uh, you guys can also render this in Eevee if you want but I seem to like cycles uh, for this animation because it kind of looks really cool when cycles more than Eevee with all the reflections and all that so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials more animation loops and also uh, let me know in the comments below what kind of tutorials you want me to do next and uh, see you in the next one bye